about yourselves. You very much did that, didn't you? Well, I think the key was uh, for us was to have a fast start and a good start because they've just come off the back of a, a really big result. And, um, you know, they're going along nicely. I think they're a really good side and I think Ed has done a great job there. And, you know, we knew we'd have to play well today. And, and apart from a, a sort of middle period, um, I thought we did. I thought we started bright. A fantastic goal. I mean, that, that goal is certainly worthy of the Premier League, by the way. Um, it's just a shame we're probably not Arsenal because it would be shown a thousand times instead of maybe four. Um, but a fantastic goal nonetheless. Um, and then to react so quickly with a set piece. And then credit to them, you know, it's that kind of 2-0 um, down and they, they seem to rise from that. It was almost like freedom came back to their game, which can happen. It's happened to us, you know, if that's happened when we've gone down. Um, and they look more clear-minded, kept the ball, kept, keep, uh, kept shifting it. Um, but we stayed resolute with the shape and I don't think they created too many golden chances. And then uh, frustrating one at half time, I don't know where time comes from when they tell you it's one minute and then they score on one minute, well on my watch one minute 17, um, I, don't, I don't know what happened there but anyway, they come in and the game feels different, you know, from 2-0 up, you're 2-1 and then to start the second half they did really well and uh, we thought they might give a reaction but then I was really, really super pleased with the substitution start, I thought they had a massive uh, changing factor in the way the second half played out. Yeah, well, I, you know, the hardest thing about substitutions is not waiting for something to happen to make you make a substitution. And I just felt it in the air they were they were getting more territory from uh, shifting it with the pace up front, trying to play longer. But then once they got there, then playing shorter, and we couldn't really break it as well. And I thought by making the change with Andre's pace and Barnes's awkwardness, I thought that had a really big effect because the, the game suddenly started swinging back towards and calming down. And then we went on and made two or three golden chances. I mean, Andre's won if anywhere else and it's a goal. Um, Barnes is one little header um, the keeper kind of comes out. You know, and, and the game could have been done a bit earlier. Um, it's not. And then they score one late on and then it's a bit nervy in the stadium for obvious reasons. You know, it's hard getting wins in the Premier League. So Scottish could, could make it 4-1, couldn't they? What's that, sorry? Yeah, I mean, his chance as well, that's a golden chance. And, you know, I was really pleased with that today, that the amount of chances, but good chances we made. You know, it's, it's harder away, we know that, and the chance count hasn't been as good, but the, the quality of chances today, I thought, were, were really good chances. Um, and overall, I thought we deserved it, but I, I must make it clear, I thought they gave a great reaction. They're a good side. They're, they're kind of a year in front of our group in the sense that a few of their players have been on a similar journey, been with the club a while. And they just matured from last season. They're a bit more calm with the ball, and they don't, you know, that, that feel about them. Um, and I think that will come in my group. And I think it's a, it's part of learning through the Premier League season. But while you're doing that, of course, you've got to win games as well. And they're not doing bad if they're bringing Jack Wiltshire on a sub. I feel it's a strange sign. Of life in football at Bournemouth. Before we and Wilson starting together, was that? Was that a slightly different challenge to what you were expecting in the lineup? No, we fancied that because I thought they might try and get the ball forward a bit quicker and stretch the pitch to allow the, the wide players to come into the pockets, which they, which they do well at times. Um, so that one wasn't a major surprise. Um, you know, they, they've, they've got a good squad there, I think, and they've got a deep squad now. So was that the fact that you've anticipated that? Was that... Was that helpful? No, 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 don't get me wrong. You can never, you haven't got a crystal ball. You can never anticipate what I mean is when the team sheet came in, it wasn't a radical mm -hmm. surprise. You know, we just thought, yeah, that can happen. Um, so that's what I mean. No, 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 we can't anticipate all week what they're going to do. Um, but when, when we saw the team sheet, we thought, yeah, OK, we can understand what their thoughts are there. Um, and I thought we dealt with that threat pretty well, apart from a, a period after half time when I thought they were very good for 15 minutes or so. Sean, you got one of the best home records in the division. What, what do you put that down to in the sort of disparity? Fantastic management. Um, <laughs> incredible. Thanks, don't print it because it was a joke. I've had that before when I've told a joke and then they print it. Um, no, it's tough going away. It's tough winning games anyway in the Premier League. Going away is a different thing. And I think the mentality, the belief in how you play, I think that security of... of, of the home field with your fans behind you. The fans here have been terrific with us. They know the challenge, but they stay behind us no matter what. And on the road, that's not so easy to, to find that from the outside. And then you've got to take on the performance against often teams that are very good. And most of it, well, not all, but a lot of these teams are well rehearsed in Premier League life. As are not, you know, we're learning every game that we play. So I think that's part of it. And of course, our own part, which is to play better than we have done and deliver better performances. It's as simple as that. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's a, it's a big thing for us. And, and, you know, I was saying a couple of weeks ago, I'm not crying at him, but for those who watched a lot, we've been unlucky to not get the, the next win against Hull and the, the, the point against Arsenal. You could argue the toss even against Man City, you know, and, and that would have made an even stronger case. But 
I'm not crying it in. Our home force has been really good, backed by the people here, backed by that one club mentality. I think is a really important thing that the way the people respond to the team and. You know, for all that we sometimes scratch our head with moments where we could do better with the ball and moments of quality, I think the fans here team that give every inch of their lives every week to try and win a game, and I think that's a powerful thing, and I think it's something to be enjoyed, even in this modern era. With Jack, is that something you see in training? Just, well, I know he can finish. Um, that was part of the reason why we brought him here, to give us more flexibility in how we operate, because he can play in a two or the three and he can join in. Um, but that's a, that's a worldie, that, I think. Boyd is his hell of a strike as well, but we know he's got that in him. He likes that one cutting across the play. Um, and it was a great run, breaking his line from the opposite side and good play from Andre. Um, you know, so that was equally a good goal in a different way. Good build-up, clever from Andre and a great strike. But what a finish. I mean, what a touch. He broke the back line, which we wanted to do today. He broke the back line, brings it down, and what a finish. I'll, I'll be looking at that one again, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll plan it like that, Chris. Yeah, I'll just go, look, all of you just score when you fancy. That's really easy. But people have looked at Andre as he's 25 goals or whatever last year, and he's still he's been on he's, the an, he's so unlucky today. He's broke away, and the keeper makes a big save. He's got the one in front of goal when he's got a toe end on it, and the, it, anywhere it goes in and it hits the keeper. He still looks alive. I mean, I'm enjoying how he's responding at the moment. You know, because he had that spell out for reasons everyone's spoken about, but he's come back looking nice and fresh. And, you know, his chance to play more football will come, I'm sure of that. He's got that sort of competition. Yeah. Well, do you know, you know, the biggest shifts we've had is if you look two years ago to the group now, we can be effective from the bench, really effective. It's not doing anyone down, but I didn't think we had the depth two years ago. Now we can actually look around the bench and think, you know, at the bench and think we can actually affect this game, you know, literally affect it. And I thought today was a good sign of that. You know, with Barnes and, and uh, Andre coming on, you could see the whole swing of the game changed. And we looked a, a much stronger force for that last, well, that middle 20 minutes or so. And then they came strong at the end because they've got nothing to lose and they're playing 1v1 at the back by them. Jan Arsenal scoring that first goal, goal of the season contender. It might well be. If John says it, he scored a few. He's a decent judge. I don't know, who knows? We'll see. It's not as early yet, isn't it? Some decent players in the Premier League. Oh, OK then. It's not that early then. Oh, what, sorry? It could. <laughs> I don't know what you want to say. Yeah, it could. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.